Hey, welcome back to the lecture. So in the previous lecture, we created some of the initialization macros. Let's create the API prototypes. For that, the best thing what we can do is we can go to the ispydriver.h and we can copy some of the APIs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all these uh, API section. So we can just copy this from the spy and let's go to the i2c driver.h and let me paste here. So peripheral clock setup. So this API we actually need, isn't it? So change the name to i2c here and here as well. All right. Spy init, spy d init, right? So let's change it to i2c init and i2c d init. So what I would do is I would just change all spy keyword into i2c. All right. So i2c init, i2c d init. All right. And uh, after that, send and receive, we can remove all these APIs. We can define our own APIs for the I2C peripheral. And here, uh, I2C interrupt config, priority config is required. This IRQ handling you can remove because it is slightly different from SPY. So we'll discuss that later. And after that, all these peripheral control, you can keep that and all these others you can remove and you can keep the i2c get flag status because i2c also has a couple of flags so you can keep i2c get flag status that you can keep and here you can keep this application callback which we'll be using when we implement the interrupt based apis all right so these are some of the apis we are going to implement first and now the task for you is so you have to create a couple of APIs. First one you have to implement is peripheral control, which is very easy. So the concept is exactly same like what you did for spy. So you have to enable or disable the peripheral clock. So I hope you can do this. And after that, you can implement I2CD in it. So I2C in it will do it later together, but I2CD in it you can do. And the interrupt config and the priority config will be same as PI or GPIO. So no code change is required. So you can just use the old code and uh, peripheral control. This is to enable or disable the peripheral. As PI in I2C also you have peripheral control bit. For example, let's go to the control register maybe one where you will find PE that is peripheral enable. Let's explore what exactly is PE and PE stands for peripheral enable and you can use this bit to disable or, or enable the peripheral and I hope you can implement that and this API will implement later and that's it. So some of the APIs you can easily implement and try to attempt that and I'll see you in the next lecture.